but they couldn't move. They had potential to be a pastor, but he couldn't move. They had potential to be in the choir, but they didn't move. And he said, well, look a little bit deeper. How can they move? And I looked at that thing and he said, think of a word that best fits for me to get inside of them so they can move. So I searched and I searched and the word abide came. Abide, dwelling, abide. I looked that word up. It's found 82 times in the King James Version in 77 verses. And I said to myself, well, what is so special about this word abide? Well, I looked at Luke 19 and five. Jesus came to the place and he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste for today. I want to abide in your house. I looked at John 15 and four. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Then I looked at John 15 and seven. If ye abide in me and my words in you, ye shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Then I looked at 1 John 2 and 28. And now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may be confident and not be ashamed before the Lord. You know what the Lord is saying right there? In order for the potential to become the kinetic, he has to abide in your dry situation. So in order for him to move in your life, you've got to let him abide in your house. In order for you to bear fruit and for your children, children to move. You got to let them abide in the words that you speak. I'm so glad that the God that I serve abided in my life because when I open my mouth, it's not me speaking, it's the Lord speaking. So you got to let them abide in your dry situation. And when he abides, you can go to Joel and look at the second chapter and it says, for I will pour out my spirit and your young people will dream dreams your old men will have dreams your young people will prophesy and your older people will have visions I believe it says something like that but you know what they're saying right there it said that when I get in your children they'll go to school one day and say teacher I prayed for you last night and he told me to come in here and lay hands on you because I saw that you were going through some things so I just got to come right now and pray over your life and then the teacher will begin to worship right there in the class then the principal will walk on down and see what's going on and he had no choice but to jump up and down because God abide in the house God abide in my children God abide in my life all you got to do is say something speak to your dry situation and he will abide in your house can you say it can you say it can you say it can you say it abide 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 in the church abide in the church abide in the church so that he can move and the vision will be fulfilled When you let them abide in your house, you let them abide in your children, your children will be bold enough to say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, when men attacked us, 
I don't know where I would be. They'll be bold enough to say, if God be for us, who on this earth? I would even venture to say, who in the under earth? I'm not going to say that other word. Can be against us. Nobody. Nobody. Why? Because we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. You're more than a conqueror. When you think about that thing, you're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. More than. More than. Don't walk around here and let this world dictate to you what you should be doing. You serve a true and living God and a true a living word. You've got to understand that we are a chosen generation. Set aside royal priesthood. Don't be overtaken. Take over. Take over. This is yours. Don't let the enemy tell you you don't have none of this. It's his by ownership. It's yours by stewardship. You've got to understand that. It's his by ownership. And it's yours by stewardship. How can God be resident in your life? if you don't make him president over your life, okay? You understand what I'm saying? If you want this stuff to stop going on, somebody has to say something. Somebody has to stand up and say something. You understand what I'm saying? We are living in the last days for real, y'all. This is so serious, and the enemy knows that. So the first thing he's gonna do, he's gonna get the energy. He's gonna get the young people. And we've got to be able, as older folk, stop getting so caught up in the church walls and the shirts and the ties and the makeup and the hats and talk to your young people. How can they stand on your shoulders if you keep your shoulders keep it bending down at the ground? If you want them to stand on your shoulders so they can make it in life, you got to stand up for something. Stand strong so they can see that if they stand for something, they won't fall for everything. Y'all with me? Give it up for your young people. Give it up for your young people. Give it up for your young people. Show them love. Show them love. Show them love. They need to understand that you really do love them. They really need to understand that. Like I said earlier, when you speak a word from the Lord, then he will give the revelation. He will give you a revelation. Speak a word from the Lord. Speak an unadulterated word from the Lord. Don't put yourself in it. Do not put yourself in it. The unadulterated word. Y'all with me? It's not about how you feel against society. Tell them what the Bible says. Tell them what the Bible says. There's gonna be a day there's going to be a day where they will not be able to endure sound doctrine. They will only heed to fables and heed to the things that scratch the itch on their ear because it sounds good. Don't be afraid to tell them the truth. Every once in a while you gotta tell them, baby, if you keep doing this, I'm sorry for you, I could pray for you all I can, but you are not gonna make it if you keep, it. that's all right. That's what he wants you to do, that's all right. That's all I can, can I say it, Pastor? That's what we need to do to each other. As, as, as older folk, we need to do that to each other. We have got to say something. Something. It is too serious today. The devil is literally killing people. You have got to say something. I thank you guys. I thank you guys for allowing me to stand up here. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I really do, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. Go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and give him praise, give him praise. Somebody's gonna say something in your life. God is speaking into your dry situation. Go ahead and say something to the Lord right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give God praise, give God praise, give God praise, give God praise. Worship him right now. Minister to the Lord right now. We're at the end of our service. I know it's early, Reverend Tolliver. I'm sorry.